This is Mike and Matt, and you're watching Unreal Minnesota. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unreal Minnesota. Today we are heading up to Mille Lacs, and we're going to be doing something I have never done before. That is sleeping in our portable shack. Joining us here is Eric, my brother, decoy carver. We're going to be spearing during the day, heading up early right now. It's 7.30. Going to set up spear all day long in the shallow water, and then right around sunset we're going to move up, set up deeper, and go for some walleye at night. Hopefully they're biting, keeping us awake, and we're catching fish. I've heard that this is not going to be fun. It's going to be cold, going to be miserable. Hopefully we survive the night. Yeah, hopefully we see you in the morning. I'll, basically, it's going to be a little different. I'll be updating you. Not going to have the cameras rolling too much. We're going to be out there for over 24 hours straight on the lake. So, I'm going to just kind of be coming in and out, updating you on our adventures. Any fish we catch is going to be a bonus. So, should be fun. Should be a little bit of an adventure, a little different. Stick around. It's going to be unreal. All right, guys. We just got to the lake. We're accessing it from walk-on. But we're going to drive on. But we're going to drive on. <laughs> and just paid the road pass here. Got a lot of snow this weekend, but this road looks pretty good, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah. We're gonna try and find a spot to spear in seven or eight feet of water. I think the water should be pretty clear here. And there's a lot of houses already in this bay. A lot of A lot of marked spear holes. Have been spearing already. If you guys have walleye fished out here or speared, I'd love to hear how you've done. If any big fish have come out of this lake, I really don't know what to expect. Like I said, this is our first time out here. If you've done an overnight trip, I'd love to hear what you guys did or what you would have done differently if you could do it again. That's about all I got. I think we'll check in again once we get the house set up, a spear hole cut. Yeah, this looks good. I'm excited. All right, we just got to our spot. Looking at about 10 feet of water, we're gonna get out, get the house set up real quick. It's not that cold out though. It's gonna be a good day. We just got set up here. Build a nice big spear hole there. Eric's getting the decoys set up here. So, tell me a little bit about what we're using. I make these decoys. The Wallace decoys. You're kind of sponsoring this video here. You're gonna have a little deal. We'll put a link down in the description for your website. Pretty much everything on your website. What do you sell up there? Decoys, bags, hats, Hat. jig sticks, soon. So these are custom jig sticks, custom decoys. You're offering 10% off for anybody who uses the code down in the description here. These things are fantastic. I've speared many fish over them. If you want to get onto some fish, these are the decoys to use. Take advantage of this 10% code here. So we're getting the decoys. We're going to drop them here pretty soon. Shut the windows here on our spear fish here, and it's going to get dark in here. So I'll probably turn the camera off and touch base again. Hopefully we have a fish. We got a tip-up set up outside with a big sucker minnow about 50 feet away. Let's get after it. Spinning. Flag just popped. Oh, it's spinning. Oh, yeah. That is a nice fish. Is it? Oh, it feels pretty big. It looks pretty big. It's going to be tough. You might need to get the spud bar so we can get him up. Scooper? What do you mean a spud bar? Something so we can... Oh, here you go. Alright. Got him. That didn't take long at all. That is a nice looking fish there. Well, we'll give you a quick update. We just caught a fish on the tip up, probably about 10 minutes in. Solid half hour. Half hour. <laughs> That's no fun. 10 minutes sounds better. 10 minutes in and uh, tried to pull a hook out and I cut my finger really good so we got it bandaged up. So two mistakes so far. I started sweating when we set the house up so hopefully my clothes can dry off. And I've already got a dinged up finger from the northern but other than that we got a fish on the ice so we're doing good should be a good day lunchtime day one we're getting hungry so we're gonna cook some brats over 
the heater. Never done this before. Hopefully it works out. That thing looks like a nice little ramp down into the spear hole. Well, you just conveniently roll off and down there. All right, heater's getting warm. I don't know if you guys can feel that or not, but <laughs> we'll check in in a sec. I'll let you know how they turn out. We didn't burn the hot dog. Are they looking? It's smoky in here. Hot dogs are looking really good. Here we go. Mm. The hot dog tastes good and the bun tastes like poop. Tastes like a fresh cut grass. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> what is up guys? It's about 3.30. Here, I just got done packing the house up and everything. Eric's gone over to shore. He's getting some sticks to mark our hole. We kind of pulled a rookie mistake and didn't bring any out with us. So he's taking the truck and he's going to get some sticks. We're all packed up now. Just about to pull the last tip up in. We pulled up a bunch of perch. They're all pretty small. Once we get set up, we're gonna head out deeper, see if we can get some walleye. Hopefully our luck turns around. If not, hopefully we stay warm tonight. Should be an adventure either way. Stick around. We are back, set up in our walleye spot for the night. We got our cots set up here. Two cots. We got a heater and we have some lights. We got two holes in between the cots. And then, I don't know if they can really see that. We got rattle reels set up in the corners here. And that's our spot for the night. Well guys, just getting ready for bed. Sorry, I'm having trouble <laughs> with the connection. Please try again in a moment. And as you can see, my phone's kind of malfunctioning. <laughs> what happened, Michael? <laughs> I thought there was a fish coming in. <laughs> and I went to grab my pole. And uh, my phone took a dip in the lake. Luckily... I had it plugged into a battery that was sitting on my bed, so it didn't disconnect. It went down into the hole, and I was able to pull it right back up. Um, I don't know if you can really see, but the phone screen is all messed up now. I can't even turn it turn it off, but that's where we're at right now. Well, this is the first. This is not what we were after, but he came in, marked him pretty good. I think we're about to go to sleep. I don't even know how to hold this thing. Treble hooks in there somewhere. Oh my Careful. goodness. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. My phone doesn't work. I couldn't even check what time it is to tell you. About to go to sleep. Oh yeah, I was about to call her day. <laughs> that thing came out of nowhere. Wow, what a squirmy fish. That is a cool looking fish. That is awesome. That is the first eel pout I have ever caught. Look at the colors on that guy. Just gorgeous. Wow. Alright, so I've caught a pike, about a dozen perch, and now an eel pout. What is up guys? We're up. It's about 5 a.m. It's cold. Our heater died overnight, so this is probably going to be the last update. We're packing up. We're going to head home. We didn't get any walleye. We actually didn't get any bites all night long. Probably got about a solid four or five hours of sleep. It was an adventure. I don't know if I'd go as far as to say it was fun, but we did it. Made it all night long in the house, which is kind of cool to say I've done, but I, like I said, I don't think I, I'll be doing this again anytime soon. If you guys have ever been brave enough to do this, let me know how it went. If you did anything different, yeah, I think that's probably about it. Anything else we want to say? Eric's awake. <laughs> Thanks for watching.